In this series of video tutorials, I'm going to go over how to create a 2D character rig in Adobe Animate. And I'm going to split up these videos into shorter segments so that we can kind of, you can kind of go to which technique you need. And I'll put them in, in order right here. But in this first video, I'm going to go over what you should do to set up your character, kind of the initial steps to kind of get, get going here. And I'm also going to talk about the scope of the character we're going to create here. So in terms of the scope, we're going to create a, it's going to be a simple rig. This isn't going to have limbs or anything like this. That We're going to focus on face movements. And so this character rig is going to have um, mouth replacement shapes so that they can perform dialogue and express different emotions through um, shape replacements. And we're going to use something called symbols in Adobe Animate to create that. And there's kind of a cool little technique that I'm going to show that'll make the lip sync much easier for you. We're also going to have the eyes be able to kind of move ind independently over here, as well as if I press A right here, the eyelashes will be able to kind of move that. And also the eyebrows, oops, will be able to move the eyebrows as well right here. Oops, and um, they're kind of going all over the place right there. Additionally, the character is going to be able to have jaw movement and rotate their head here as well. So let's go over what you should do as initial steps right here. So for your initial steps, we have the character sheet. And so this is where I recommend everybody start here. So this is my character sheet. I drew this in Procreate here. And you can see that my character is just facing straight forward. I'm not going to worry about a 3D turnaround or anything like that. We're just going to have the character kind of facing towards camera and stick to one angle right here for this particular rig. Um, I'm also going to create a color palette right here, which is all the colors that are being used right here for my, my character. So be sure, be sure to lay out your color palette and have it just set at the bottom or to the side right here. And then finally, I have my mouth replacement shapes, which I drew right here. And so in Procreate, I kind of drew my head. And then for different vowel and consonant sounds, I would draw different mouth shapes right here. And then when I was done with the sketch, I would just drag them off to the side right here. And so you can see I have 14 total mouth shapes right here. And a number like that is what I, I, I recommend. And you can always start to kind of add more if you get into your animation and you realize you need, need some more. But I usually find that like, 14 to 16 is usually like a pretty good number here. And so moving forward here, so I have my character, which I character design, which I drew in Procreate. And then this is kind of looking forward here. So in Adobe Animate, we're going to split up that, that character drawing into a bunch of different layers right here. And so this requires a little bit of problem solving on, on your side, depending on your character design. So yours might not be exactly like mine. But you can see I have my 14 mouse shapes, which I have right here, finished off. And then I have about 14 layers right here where I've kind of split my character off into different shapes. And the reason I did this is so that when we rig the character, we can kind of articulate different levels of movement within the character, right? We want the eyebrows to be able to move independently, the eyelashes and the eyes to be able to move independently in the rig. And so this is one reason I recommend trying, especially if this is your first time, try to kind of keep your character design simple so that you don't have a thousand layers right here that you're trying to juggle here. Um, so this is kind of the way that I have that laid out right here. And eventually what we're going to do is we're going to take the character, take it into Adobe Animate, and we're going to use a pretty simple parenting system right here to, to have a parenting controls to kind of glue the character together.